your views. My facts begins in three, two, one. Welcome everybody to your views and my facts. I am Thomas John. We are here in the den. We've got some vipers in here, some vipettes. Not officially, but potentially. Okay, real quick. So, when I hear that intro, I always think Wayne's World. Okay. So I either do the three, two, one gesture with my hands, and then that I did that the last podcast today. I nodded to three, two, one, and I think Wayne, you're nodding again. So good. I love it. I have a Wayne's World's one of my favorite. Movies. I have a whole different Sorry. thing when I when I hear it going down. I actually think of WWF. The Walls of Jericho. Yeah. Right? How does that go? How does for, that go? It's, it's got a very similar intro, and then he's, break the walls down. For, just to, look, yeah. it's the WWE. Now, but back now, then, when he first w- started, it was F. Yes. Correct. God, come on, start using a modern lens, TJ. Well, when he had his song, of uh, Break the Walls Down, it was WWE. It was WWE. He's right. What, are you looking it up? No, no, no. I mean, I know it's WWE. He started off as WWF, though. When he had that song, as I just stated, though. No, that, that was, was WWF. Google. I have the video game where it's WWF, and that's his intro song. So unless the video game was like Transcending Time, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was his song. And that was on Nintendo 64. How do I know? Because I was like the champ of that game. Believe that. Everybody was getting rock bottoms. Whatever. Oh, Look. Rock. I know. This is rock. this is not not the time to be talking about WWE or WWF. What about N64? Never owned one, don't care for that platform. Well, you fucked up cuz it's a really good platform. The only thing that I even enjoyed, the only game that I enjoyed about that platform was James uh, Bond. Uh okay, James Bond put it on the map. Yep, yep, yep. But following that was uh, the Mario Kart 64. Oh, Mario Kart was good. Mario 64 was good, too. I started ran- playing Mario Kart on GameCube. That's way after the 64, right? Mario Kart initially started out on Super Nintendo, the very first one. No, I'm just saying that's when I started playing. Oh, got you. But Mario Kart 64 is the classic. Mm. I can't play Mario Kart. I get car sick. Mm. Like motion sickness? <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> My so, life is sad. Someone gets that in the real car. But none of you know nothing about. Oh, Atari. Atari. I did buy that Atari. At first I was thinking I know nothing about tits. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I pointed at my t-shirt, which says Atari across it. So that's, that's accurate. I mean, I was technically pointing in that general direction. (laughs) Just to be clear. You, you, you were, you were doing this, but my eyes went to the wall because I'm like, I'm uh, not. Nobody. (laughs) And I'm like, Crystal, I look straight at your tits. (laughs) I know a little bit about them. <laughs> Just kidding. I got my own. What, her tits, or you know something about tits? Tits in general. She said she this. So. Owns them as well. Yeah. She has her own pair. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you have Charlie Rose. He knows well about tits, apparently. The guy from PBS. Oh. <laughs> it's funny. He- <laughs> <laughs> what is funny? Oh, you're saying that was funny. Funny, but nobody. Or lies. you're like about to lay down a storyline. About you like and Charlie funny that Rose. You said that, yeah. Well, that's kind of going to go into one of the things that, that, that we might hit on today. It's kind of a, 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 a touchy montage subject. of what's happening in the world right now. Would you say is that, is that a anything. podcast segment? What's happening? What's happening in the world? Do you, do you want to own it? Do you want to own that that segment? Can we call no. it? Can we title it a touchy subject? <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> that's, good. That, that's what's happening now. And that it, it'll never end. No. So it's good. I don't think it ever be it's always began, you know, it's always it's always been it's just now being told or people are now coming out. What I want to get into though, Rich, is that you were mentioning a story earlier about a kid being shackled. Oh yeah. And I I'm, I'm I'm He knows a thing or two about that. He's oh. been shackled, are we? Okay. No, well, he's, <laughs> he's, he's 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 Hispanic, so he's familiar with shackles. So dirty. Uh, no, we, you know, so we were having pizza before this podcast brought to you by Crystal. And uh, while we're sitting down there, I can't remember what initially prompted it. We were talking about, uh, I don't know, Mike Brown or something like that. We, we were talking about something where we're like, oh, yeah. Hands up, don't shoot. Hands up, don't shoot. Like, not really a loss to the world. <clears throat> nope. But then I brought up that I used to walk home all the time. Um, 
like in middle school and in high school, I'd walk basically by my schools. Right? I would walk two schools, but I would end up passing this house, and the street was called Tennis Lane in Tracy, right? So to sort of give you a bag drop, this is like the suburbs. Tracy's got a, like a high white population, pretty high in Mexican as well. And then like everything else is like an extreme minority. But really nice area. They got a park across the street. And then uh, <clears throat> the InShape Sports Club, which is like the only thing to do in Tracy, California, is like right off a of tennis lane. So no matter what, we used to bypass this house on the street two or three times a day. And uh, it was a very strange house. You know, like there would never be lights on, never saw anybody come and go. And uh, interesting enough, in 2009, a kid escaped from the house. So the story goes, this kid's name is Kyle. He was 16 when he initially got abducted or basically like somebody was like acting as a caregiver and then like basically he disappeared. But really he was being like actually shackled in like this back room. Can I pause the story? Sure. Is there a difference between kidnap and abducted? Abducted. Um, you can abduct an older per- I don't know. I think kidnapped. Is kidnapped only um, for those who are young? I would I think, say they're probably synonymous. Just abducted sounds more like what you'd hear in the news. Yeah, I think abducted means like the kid at some point or another like willingly went and then you took them. Right or the person went with you and then you took them, while well, kidnapping implies like they were never intending to go with you. I could be wrong. Can someone look this up? I feel like you just made that up. I yeah. know, but it sounded really Did, good. I mean, Con- continue on the story, Rich. I'll, <clears throat> yeah. I'll get you an answer. So, <clears throat> so we used to walk past this house all the time. Apparently, let me tell you guys this story. This kid is seen jumping over. Basically, he got onto a trampoline in the backyard, jumped and flipped over the fence, and began running with shackles still on. Right. And then he ends up running towards like the sports complex. He basically like call like he calls the police, the police come get him. So apparently for like a year, a little over a year, this kid was shackled in this house where they continued to beat him with like aluminum baseball bats. They would heat up things on the oven and they'd burn him. They'd whip him and stuff. <clears throat> come to find out this the people that abducted him, though they're like they're like slight family members. They're not like close family, but they're family that had abducted him and like tortured him. And uh, it just so happens that like he did what he needed. I, I I had been told that he had shit himself, but it doesn't really say that in this report. What I do know is he was able to get at 16 years old. Uh, he was able to get away. So he was abducted at like 15 and then 16 going on almost 17. He gets out and it runs into the backyard, uses the trampoline, frees himself right but it's just crazy you never know you know you could be walking past a house you don't know what's going on in this house you know you you could be in the suburbs where it seems like crime rates are low you don't know what the hell's going on right you don't know what's going on in any of these houses on the, on the streets i know god knows what tj's growing in the garage mold i don't know <laughs> said juice <laughs> Is that Is like a Jew factory in the garage? <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the opposite of what Hitler wanted. Hey, y- y'all were commenting on that crap earlier. Yeah, uh, reparations is, is what I'm partaking in. Okay, do you have a definition? Yeah, so kidnap is apparently right to take someone away illegally or by force, usually for a ransom. Mm. Oh, abducted is to take someone away illegally by force or by deception. But it doesn't say for anything for a ransom. But, but the they are both synonyms. So ransom about. is the yeah. one is thing. The, the key separating. difference, it seems okay. like. Yes. Mm. Mm. Didn't read anything about a ransom, so abducted. Yeah. If you were kidnapped, <laughs> would you be offended if the ransom was really low? They're like, <laughs> we they're like, dude, I'm just asking for 200 bucks, okay? <laughs> they call in, they're like, we have Thomas. <laughs> and uh, we're asking for $250 and a six-pack of Mountain Dew. His dad's going to be like, uh, are you sure this isn't Thomas asking for the Mountain Dew? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dad. How are you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, it reminds me of that, that scene from Willy Wonka where the wife was like, I don't care what. Like, I just want to find out where my husband is. And they're like, and the ransom was, he goes, Miss, they want your case of Wonka bars. She's like, and she was like, oh, my God, I have to think about this. <laughs> Wait, well, hold on. I get these titles confused. Is this the new one with John? No, 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 the original. No, original. No, that does, that's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Yes. Where's the what? What part are you talking about? <clears throat> it's it's so, so it's, it, go ahead. This was in the beginning when like everyone was it's buying friend, out the bars. Friend, they haven't found all the golden tickets, uh-huh. and then so they they segment into the scene of this woman like concerned 
you know, find trying to find her. They're looking husband. for like the fourth ticket. Yes. Anyways, um, <laughs> specifically the fourth t- fourth ticket. Um, anyways, so yeah, that was that was a clip. Just from, from that. that. I know. I'm gonna have to go. I'm I'm, I'm curious Don't now. Don't watch the new one. It was not. Oh, I know. I w- thank you. That's too late. I already oh, watched the new one. Bad. TJ, what a waste we, of time. We, we need you to look up what a snozberry is. What what's a snozberry? It's a cross between a raspberry and a pig snout. Snoutberry. It would be called snoutberry. I don't know. I just made it up. <laughs> snozberry tastes snows- like snozberry. Speaking speaking of movies, we saw Blade Runner recently. How was that? Pretty good. Really? Pretty good. Not very long. That, um, it was long, but it felt appropriate. Better than the old one. Uh, it was a good continuation of the old one. Yeah, I mean, I think <clears throat> you can't really rate one over the other because it's a completely different time period, right? And like the dilemma that they have in the first film is different than the dilemma in the second film. No, it wasn't a remake. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. Oh, I thought it was a remake. No, it's a sequel. It's a sequel. Oh. Anyways, did he have something in mind? Because he said, speaking of movies. Well, well, I did have something in mind. This is also going to go back to back to Rich, because he wanted to mention a time where I had him and Moon watch a movie oh. <laughs> called Antichrist. <sighs> I'm going <laughs> to... And he was he was so... He wanted to tell the story, but he's like, I, I got to say for the, for, the, for the cast, man. So, to put it into context, TJ's raving about this human centipede film he loves it all right I, I, no, he's, no, no, he's I got not, sketches of how he'd like to do it in real life not true he does and he already knows which position he wants to be in that i want to be in he's gonna you said you want to be the first himself <laughs> into his own human centipede it's not gonna be your mouse on <laughs> yeah you were like you know what that's how that's how you play off that you weren't the actual scientist it might depend who the female is in front of me go on Mm. You want to eat her shit? <laughs> D- <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, not so af- after after raving af- after raving about how he would like to eventually start his own human centipede, mm-hmm. it went on to we were talking about other bad movies such as Sharknado and such, right? Not not good movies by any means. And then, you know, it reminded me of this time back in 2013, probably 14, where. Thomas had not seen the new Star Treks. I'm talking like the J.J. Abrams Star Trek films. Yeah. So he hadn't seen it yet. Wasn't a huge fan, right? Not a huge fan. Of who? Of Star- the Star Trek films. No, I liked them. <clears throat> no, I mean beforehand, though. Well, we well, made him watch the first one. No, 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 no. no. What I'm saying is, is like, did you watch them back in the se- like the 70s and 80s? N- not, not really. I mean, I had seen them, but it was always more of a, a foreign show to me. It, it, but by foreign, I mean it, it looked to you could tell there were all the props that mm. were being do, used in the in the show. So I no just, CGI, right? So I always try to introduce TJ to new films, and he he did the same with me on certain films. But it was always what, this is what we're going to watch today, and he'd be like, "Fuck, let me light a cigarette real quick." <laughs> so I didn't introduce him to films. So Star Trek, for some reason, he just didn't want to watch it. And I'm like, "No, dude, it's excellent. The score is excellent. There's a lot of action." And I'm like, look, there's two of them, so we have to watch them both. You have to agree to watch both. And TJ, even if he wants to watch them, he's still an asshole. You know, he's still <laughs> a hard ass about it. So, uh, so then he's like, okay, I'm going to make you a deal. TJ's all about these fucking deals. All right, he'll make it seem like I'm about the deals, but he's about the deals. A la Trump. Yeah, a la Trump, right? So he's like, hey, I will watch both Star Trek films if you watch this film with me. Simone, what was the name of the film? <clears throat> Is it Antichrist? This film, th- this film was starring. Uh, can, can I can I pause real quick though <laughs> in the story? Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Who's starring in it? William Defoe. William Defoe. So before we go Very into very credible it, actor. Yep, you get you get to see his penis. People Did, wasn't expecting that. People. <laughs> Not only do you get to see his penis, you get to see it smashed in with a brick. <laughs> no, it was a piece of wood. Ouch. <laughs> Look, I, I, either or though I want to I want to just preface with the fact that I hadn't what I what I had done previously though is I had looked up like the 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 top 10 you know like scariest or, or worst whatever movies mm-hmm. and I was like I want to get around to like these top 10 lists so whether it's comedy sci-fi so I just started I just happened to start with 
the top like, ten, like the top the ten most list. fucked up movies oh, that, ever. That was considered a horror. I guess I, it was. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it, it was. It, oh. Whatever. I I searched. <laughs> so. so yeah, I, so we had gone on to Amazon or, or what? What were we? Netflix, I think it was Amazon. Hulu. It was or it was something. I don't know. And, and so, because I, I think I had rattled off a movie or two before that, and they weren't there. I was like, right, well, look up this one, Antichrist. That's it. That's what we're watching, guys. <laughs> and you hadn't even seen it. No, yet I had it. Okay. I had not seen it. You're just picking it I, Did you like it? I to be honest, I don't really remember it. I remember Star Trek. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I remember you made a quote in the beginning of this movie that was so fucked up. Do you remember uh, when it was snowing? Yeah, I, I, rem- I remember the whole scene. <laughs> do you scene. remember DJ? I remember. <laughs> no, I do, not, first, I do not remember what I said, but I can only presume if it was snowing, because I'm pretty sure it was more like a black and white. I was like, I wonder if those are ashes. Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's clever. It was a similar Schindler's List. Mm-hmm. I know. Man. Oh, it's snowing. No. The whole premise of that story, I think, was that they're... There was a couple, they were in love, they had a kid, and then the kid died, and I think it was the spiral of her mental, like, I don't, like, she became dysfunctional after the death of her But there child. was also some, like, crazy shit going on. No, I know, but I think she went crazy after her kid died. Yeah, and then they went out, like, to the woods to, like, go to a cabin to, to find Jesus mm-hmm. so or something. Let me, but, let me give you a little trailer. Why was it called Antichrist? I, was there, like... I don't remember. It was because a penis got smashed by some wood. No, 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 no. No pun intended. I, what, what, I be, what I believe is I think they call it Antichrist because at some point when they're in the woods, there's all these drawings up in the attic and what seems to be like the devil rising, basically. And then later on, this, like, not to give it away, but this oh, woman, like, give it away, I, don't think I don't think anybody <laughs> really cares. Look, about the I'll tell you yeah. three points of the film at Spoiler the beginning. Alert. William Defoe is fucking this chick real hard. <laughs> I mean, They're in love. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. It was strong. No, that was strong. Like he was coming in, and he's like, "You're gonna feel this today, right?" So it's going down. The ki- there's a kid crawling around, and it's snowing outside. And they just so happened to leave the window open. Yeah. And the kid fell out this window like four stories, instantly dead. Right. So like the wife's all in depression. Next important point. They're in the woods. William Defoe seems to be like adjusting to not having a child she's struggling and she finds all this demonic like ritual stuff written on the attic or whatever right and then the next thing you know she smashes this dude's penis and she chops her vagina lips off and at that point i was easily like i'm done with this film oh my god yeah that that would be the (laughs) that would be the labia majora (laughs) as opposed to the labia minora did you have that written in your book (laughs) no (laughs) No, I don't have that just written. Down. Contact, you just pulled a piece of paper out okay, of the book it just, and started reading from it. Like, <laughs> I just have this <laughs> female anatomy written down for such moments. It, <laughs> I'm pretty right. sure my she, moment has come. She like she like went on to feed like one of the parts she'd cut <laughs> off to an animal, and then she burnt the other part and did All some right, like wait, ritual. It sounds like it's really a, fucking dumb. It's a so terrible movie. We, it, a, it's really it's really bad. Yeah, but anyway. TJ remembered Star Trek, so that was good. Right, yeah. Well, because what's her name? Zoe Saldana. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. I was also told to watch a movie with her in it from... Guardians of the Galaxy? Colombiana? Not Guardians of the Galaxy, oh. but yes, Colombiana. Uh, Ursula awesome. had told me to see it. Great movie. Have you seen that movie? I haven't. That was, that's great. That's a great fucking movie. Yet. She's awesome. She... So. That... that the, the, her role in that movie... That's my soulmate right there. That's what I need. Good luck finding her. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, shit, man. Luck. You're going to need to start. <laughs> That's get, a really high stage. You're going to need to go to those cartel areas, see if you can find a crazy one like right. that. We'll see what happens. Well, what did she do in this movie? Did she just kick ass? Like, literally, I don't know. Basically, yeah, she, she came from... I'm trying to remember. Uh, I haven't uh, seen it since like well, 2009. Well, yeah, well, Columbia, right? Yeah. So she was... Her parents were in Columbia, but like kind of part of the cartel... Uh, down there, the mafia. Her parents are killed, right? Yes. And so she, her parents are killed in front of her. Mm -hmm. And she escapes, gets to the US, and she goes and finds like her dad's brother who was already been in the the US. And she grows up. But even at like the age of six, she was like, I want to be a a a killer. Mm. Uh, 
with the sole premise of her wanting to go kill everybody that um, <clears throat> murdered her family. So, got it. So it's basically the professional in Colombia. Yeah, he's looking. Basically, he's looking yeah. for a girl that can handle a pistol and it's hot. Yeah. Good luck in California. I know. Finding that. I know. You know what? Texas it is, bruh. TJ's aware. Current things that are going on in our world. All right. Is what I wanna is what I wanna touch on. I obviously try to keep it Everybody wants to touch on. That's true. Politicians definitely wanna don't wanna touch on it, man, and and producers. But so I have I have my list. I've got eleven different things. No, no, he's, he's gonna re- no, he's gonna read and he's gonna ask us questions. Oh, what we think all right, of it. all right, that's fine. It's gotta be a surprise, somehow. Sort of, sort of. I just thought we didn't come prepared. I was like, oh shit, he has a list. No, he wants us, he, wa- he wants us unprepared. He wants our views with his facts. Organic, yeah. Hmm. But here's how we're gonna. So I, I get I, eleven different things. Okay, so, so ten things. 11. <laughs> Where'd you get 10 from? All right, come on. Okay, so all right, one so, out of 10. Go ahead. All right, so we're going to... I'm going to start with Crystal. You get to pick a number between 1 and 11. Okay. So right, it's kind of fun. Oh. We, we oh, don't know what fun. we're going to talk yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's random. Yeah, it could be... It, who's to say? So you give okay. me a number, boom. And then All I'm gonna, right, I'm Crystal, talk about you it. get to pick the number. <laughs> <laughs> come on down. <laughs> I feel like that was family feudish, but <laughs> I think we mixed like three of them together on that, but that was good. All right, so, so you get to pick a number. Go ahead. Oh, I was thinking Rocky, actually. That's like when you are trying to answer it, though. That's when you're waiting for the final Jeopardy. He's waiting on an answer. Seven. Damn you. Alex. Oh, seven. Oh, this is perfect. This is right up my alley. This has really nothing to do with you guys. So this is crazy. But I wrote this down because it because it it, it it affects my state. So, who's the mayor of New York, Rich? I don't know his name. De Blasio. Yeah, that sounds about right. So this fucking dude is coming to Iowa shortly to Des Moines. Why? He's going to be the featured guest at Progress Iowa's holiday party fundraiser. The one progressive like holiday party in the whole state uh, apparently december 19th (laughs) yeah yeah december 19th at the temple for the performing arts in des moines okay john john's gonna be there no he he will not be there but you'll be delivering something for him no threats (laughs) but here's here's why i wrote this down because it's quotes like this that piss me off and this is this is where i want to get your guys's take on it yeah let your hate out so he so he he goes on to say iowans and i'm an iowan even though i live out in california right now but iowans are speaking out and showing up to fight back against what conservatives are doing to their state and our country standing up for quality public education access to health care and to make sure working families get a fair shot right is what progress iowa is, is doing now the issue i have with this fucking quote is i don't know what iowans are speaking out and fighting back because iowa voted trump so what is going on? I mean, he's making it seem like a, a small, you know, malicious sect came in there and was like, ah. He's making what? a general statement so everyone could believe. Like, maybe more people think that way. Maybe. I'm assuming. That, that's definitely true. Okay. So it might not be but, true. His statement might not be true, but he's saying that to be like, to incite other people. Are people that easily... Absolutely. (sighs) They are. Especially the... Youngins? Why, though? Okay, I I get why. Because they're morons. Well, I mean, the state went blue the two elections prior to Trump. So, like, there's got to be, like, a decent Democratic base there. As far as, like, like Democrats go. Did it go back to red? Yeah. Yeah, Trump won Iowa. Hmm. But what I'm saying is, is, like, Barack Obama pulled Iowa. But barely? Did he... Did they? No, no, it wasn't barely. Oh, uh, I mean, he beat he beat her by like ten points, which is a lot. Yeah, so not barely. No, yeah, that's a pretty big that's a pretty big one. But okay, he, he, here's a bigger thing though. When Crystal, you're from Texas. I'm not. I will be. <laughs> but you've been adopted by the state. 
Pretty much. Okay, that's what. Sure. Um, I guess we'll have to do a one-on-one at some point that we can get all these details out. So I know. <laughs> <laughs> but if you were living in Texas, then do you really care what some mayor from New York, you know, wants to come say in your hometown, even if they're the same political party as you? Yes. Don't you? No, I don't care. I if 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 John McCain from Arizona came to Iowa, I'd say go the fuck back to your state. Well, because he's he's high profile, right? He's from New York, right? Where De Blasio, right? yes. Where maybe because he's from New York, because he's from you know where a lot of liberals are, that people don't like to be educated voters. They just like to pick a stance and then. Just believe whatever the fuck you tell them because they're not going to, you know, do any research on their own. So, yeah, him going there might help influence the Democratic Party there to get votes from people who think they're Democrats, liberals, whatever. So he could influence that and help his constituent out that's in, right, that, that's in that state. Yeah, I agree, I agree with Crystal. I think what it is is... Um I think the Democrats have chosen that they're going to push towards a more progressive 2018 and 2020. Mm -hmm. And the only way that they have even a chance to, I I don't even think they have a chance, but the only way they would have a chance is to start hitting the ground early, pushing a progressive, a progressive notion. So yeah, brainwash and you have two to four years or two to three years at least before the presidential next. Right. So the other thing too is, the Democrats may not have a lot of people in Iowa, like on their bench, you know, like it might be that the Iowans don't like their, their actual <clears throat> politicians very much or whoever. So there's the, that perspective. And then also maybe the mayor is trying to run for a higher position and, or he's contemplating maybe a 2020 run himself. So he's That's getting, na- he's getting his name out there, you know? All right. Sure. Simone. <clears throat> yeah. Hear me out here. All right. So, I have, at the house you're in right now, do you have carpet? Yes. Let's presume for my question here that you just have tile. Okay. Nice tile. I have carpet, and so I come over and say, hey, Simone, you know what a really good way is to clean carpet? What is the first thing you're going to probably tell me? No, because I don't have carpet. Correct. So... Why do I give two shits about... D- 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 my point that I'm making is that de Blasio knows nothing about the state of Iowa. Get the fuck out of here. We don't need your... But, but he's not really a liberal agenda. Yeah. And how to push it. Yeah, he'll just speak on the topics and then how to apply it to Iowa. Right? Not to mention, I guarantee he didn't push like a New York agenda. What he probably did is he probably bit off some stuff from Bernie. And he's like, look... A lo- especially with the older Iowans, he's probably like, we're trying to increase your social security. We're trying to increase your Medicaid, Medicare. You know, like, I'm sure that that was it. I'm sure he was just beating the, let's increase the welfare state, let's increase the government control. And Iowans, pro- like, those that lean to the left do want that. I'm sure they probably don't have the best savings accounts or retirement accounts. Right, but, but going, sure, but going back to the quote, Right, just the first part. Iowans are speaking out and showing up to fight back against what conservatives are doing to their state and our country. And it just already seems that that quote is misguided it's just because the- conservatives overwhelmingly voted for Trump. So how can you say that we're speaking out and showing up to fight back against what conservatives want? If you were to say, it, I, Iowans is what I have a problem with. He should have said, Iowa liberals. No, 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 he wants people to feel left out. So if he's saying Iowa feels this, feels this way, and you don't, you should be, no. you better jump on board, or else she's r- she's right. And you don't want you you want to divide, but not divide in that way. When you're trying to gain votes, you don't single out just liberals, right? Because they're hoping that the independents in the crowd or independents around the area are listening to also vote left, right? No, I I I get it, but you you know what else is frustrating. Crystal, is you, what I have found with the left is that they will speak with the minority as their, you know, guiding light of we need to look out for them 
and help them out and give them everything that they want. But once they get into the majority, then they don't want to listen to the minority that's opposed to now their majority. Does that make sense? <clears throat> that's life period, though. The majority always wants to stay the majority and keep the minority down, and the minority always wants to become the majority. It's just that's like literally the dynamic in all of the world. You know what I mean? Like it's always it will always be that. I suppose. <laughs> like it's it's always been, you know, like look at ancient Rome. If you are a part of Rome and you are a citizen of Rome, you are part of this huge majority. If you are a part of the Republic but you weren't a citizen of Rome, you were a part of the minority and you were doing whatever you could to become a part of the majority, right? And it got to the point where <clears throat> once the ideology started to change, you see Rome like as a as a empire start to actually um you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, not tighten up, but um, search of the sea. I can't think of it right now. But basically, it starts tightening down and as it's shrinking constricting? down. Constricting? Constricting, exactly. You see, the, you see the empire start constricting down because those that were in the minority are now in the majority. And they're not listening to who used to be the majority anymore. All right. Well, either way, de Blasio... I'm from Iowa. You can stay in New York. I don't need you coming to my state. Rich, give me a number, man. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. Little Stranger Things right there. It's on the same page. Crazy. <sighs> Helped you out right there. But don't worry. These are numbered odds. So this is just in. Vegas is looking at... Las Vegas is looking at potentially banning private cars from the Strip. Mm. In the wake of the shooting and the... The shooting is what is what put it over the top, but we've all been to Vegas, correct? Yes. Yes. So the strip is very crowded. Over not crowded. to mention right, not to mention not, not only with the vehicles, but also the, the tourists themselves. Ooh. Oh, just busy with tourists. Yes. B- bu- yes. Sorry. What did you? I was thinking. I, was thinking I was not sure why I'm, that noise came out of me. Yeah, I, did I was. I was thinking of something. Else. I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking of something else that I tuned into Taurus as well, and I'm like, what? You gotta get rid of them. Okay, come on. Oh goodness. Sorry. You gotta get rid of these so, Taurus. So any it, it, anywho, the uh, the the transit authority there is looking at spending 2.3 million dollars on new traffic systems or laws. <clears throat> I'm just curious what you guys think about just that. Just shut down the streets, have people drive on the parallel streets. Oh, I'm, I'd be happier for that. That's not a lot of money in Vegas. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's that, really. I, I don't think it's it'd be a bad option. It just depends on what the people want. I know? think it'd be a great option. You close so those streets, pave it in, make it look nice. You can have street vendors in the middle. You, they can make way more money shopping. So let me say this. Yes. Right. I do think. If major cities want to install, right, if the major city itself, not asking for state funding, not asking for the rest of the county to pay for it, but if this, if I'm sorry, if the city wants this, then the city should have it. And the reason I say that is large metropolitan cities, it is easier. Like if you're, if you're in New York, you're going to take the subway, right? If you're, t- if you're in Los Angeles, you're probably using Uber and Lyft because they have no infrastructure at all. And so for Vegas, as a city, it may be time because they are a growing city still. They're not in debt. Right, like Vegas does pretty well as far as managing mm-hmm. their money. It may be time for them right now to upgrade their infrastructure, and I love that they're not waiting for the federal government to give them aid. Yeah, like I, that, I think that's yeah. awesome that the city wants to do it. I think that it's a good idea, but if it's in light of like the shooting, I think the minute we start changing everything because one fucking retard the, kills a bunch of people, then then we've they've won. Like we, two, we can't change too much two, two, because of that. Yeah. Well, so I I disagree. I don't think. That you can stop a good idea because of like however somebody's trying not, to spin no, it. I Real think, quick, I think absolutely. What does driving through the strip do? Like, if how did that prevent why, him from going into the hotel with guns? No, no, no. I, 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 right, which is where I, I should I should clear it up. So while while I said that uh, in the in, in the start of this this uh, news, that just happened to be more of the icing on the cake. Uh, for okay. it, so they had already wanted. So they already, thought about they, they had already wanted to go like, into yeah, it. Yeah, the, the, might hurry it up. The, like, yeah, the the shooting piece yeah. was that it'd be it's going to be a lot harder than to transport right, transport everything. everything right to the whole you know because you'd have to get on a monorail or whatever you know bus and so forth. It it just the only thing that that I could find right now that has been instituted since the shooting is they have installed the cement. You know, barricades, barriers, barriers on on all the on, in, in more locations. So are you saying there's not going to be any direct access into a casino? Like you can't drive into 
Bellagio to park? From the way it, from the way the article made it sound, was not from the strip. I well, had, what about one the, of the par- like? Oh, shit. So, so you'd have to have they all have back access, don't they? Like on parallel streets? Yes, well, or side the, parking, the, like on the side, there's yeah. the parking garages behind. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I would assume I there would still be access on the road, right? But they're trying to install additional infrastructure just to cut down. I would assume on the transit. No, he's saying the, all they they wanted the strip traffic. stopped from private vehicles, yeah, private so vehicles. buses would be allowed, cabs, so I, forth. I just don't think. For one, I don't think it's going to stop any. I also don't shooter. think it should be. It should be it, wh- wh- cabs. I think uh, just like a monorail, yeah. yeah, or something that goes up and down the street. You can get yeah. on and get off, even if you live there and work there. This is actually. No, well, what? So, yeah, Simone. But you, you, what were you about to say? You don't think that it will what? I don't think. I mean, if no, it's it has nothing to do with. I, yeah, I d- try not to get caught up on the shooting thing. So I'm sorry that I that I had. Okay. Throwing that out there because okay. I, I wasn't trying to mislead anybody. It was uh. just th- they cited that in the article saying. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even. It, it just. It's another thing for a politician. I get right to use. It, it's speeding up well, that's the decision, stupid. maybe. You know, th- there is a. Factor. Oh, that's stupid. But De Blasio coming and talking about Iowa issues is stupid. I'm just kidding. So, so for. I, know, I, so I, for don't, I don't personally give a shit what happens ever in Iowa. <laughs> so real quick. So for us, for, we gave you an evil stare. So, so I've never. So I've never lived in Vegas, right? Okay. You've lived there. Yeah. How, how often do people that live in Vegas go to the Strip? Honestly, unless you work there, not often. Okay, so then in that case, it's a good idea. My, the only fear of putting a new infrastructure in is that because the portions... It's not like L.A., right? L.A., it's like you can't go anywhere without there being massive amount of like houses and everything, and it's very everything's very tight. In Vegas, there's a lot of things that are s- spaced out, you know? Like yeah. the little suburb you lived in, like... I mean, technically, it's Vegas, but like in all reality, if you couldn't drive to the Strip, like... It's a pain in the ass then for you to have to drive to a station to park your car to then hop on this to then have to come back to your car and then drive home. Right. Y- yes. For, for whatever the my take on it is, I would be okay with me not being able to drive down the strip, even if. And my hope is one day that I can go back and live there. So this is you know kind of hits home for me, right in a way. But Nevada is a blue state. It's a, it's a swing state. Not it, recently. It, it, it's it's crazy how they vote politically. I am a resident ba- based of Nevada, off based currently. off where they stand on multiple right. other issues. Yeah. So it's kind of, it's crazy. You can own any gun you want, basically. But so I will be okay with it as long as you have the locations at every street, every right casino where I could park then and jump on. The, the monorail. So so right now, the only three places... I couldn't, shouldn't have called it a monorail, but you have the Luxor, the... Caesars. Uh, n- n- no. MGM? MGM. Is it MGM? It's Mandalay. The, it, Mandalay Bay, and it's the... Th- yeah, there's another one, but it's the three that are on the very yeah. southern end that are connected by the one little tram. And then on the other side of the strip, they have... They're connected to... There's a couple of hotels. Are they? Are connected. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I didn't, they're just not they just need to connect them in between oh, oh right yeah so so that's that's what would be needed then i'd be okay with it otherwise i, I don't being being congested does it take long to go from one end of the strip to the other on a weekend sure but i don't think it's anything too crazy 3.2 seems like a pretty low number like just me factoring in what i think this would be i i, I don't think there's any way they could 2.3 2.3 million yeah, dude, that's that. There's no way they can build something with 2.3 million. If it's that low, though, I I'm excited. Like, I would be really excited as long as you have access to each casino. If I want to be at um, uh, what's the one that Brittany's in? Hollywood, Planet Hollywood. Like, if I want to go there because mm-hmm. it's in the middle of the strip, I can just drive it to the hotel and park in the garage. I'm happy to walk everywhere else because that's what you do in Vegas or Monorail well, if I want to get to the other side. It- and then if I want to Uber, I just go to one of the parallel streets, which is just a block away, and then. And so, that's and and that's something else. They may only have it to where you can go, where you can only perpendicularly cross the strip. Yeah. And not be parallel on it. Driving. Yeah. Oh, see, that's even better. So that makes me really excited because then they'll close down the streets. They'll have all these cool vendors in the middle. Oh, I would only. I think ass- it's good for Vegas. I wonder if any of the casinos are putting like money into this then for it to be so low because I d- almost don't believe it. Like it's too good to be true on the low cost. I don't know. But I know they can make a shitload of money from this. Yeah. Because, like, there are businesses in the middle, like Serendipity is in the middle of the strip. People that do live there 
avoid this trip. If, yeah. If, if, right, for the most part, when they're trying to get A to B, north to south. Yeah. Well, yeah. If you're not, yeah. yeah if you have no business of being on the strip, you yeah. won't. You won't take yeah. it. Um, but I would argue that it's then just like any other city, though, or a large city that you know the side streets and where to go. Yeah. What other? In any cab, in any Uber, won't even take this trip. Like they won't even drive down there. The only people who drive down there are probably tourists who want to check well, it out. Or or oh, or, yeah. or buses. I was gonna say. Well, or, yeah, that or I was gonna say cab drivers though might. No, they still want to get you out of the car quick, so they're not going to go down the strip. If you're getting, if they're getting paid by distance, yeah. Because if you're getting paid by time, what it should be like? Yeah, I'll take the. Yeah, I don't know. That's another topic: sketchy, okay. sketchy cab drivers, <laughs> or, or or the way that they do things. But okay. Give me a number. So we've done what seven? Seven eleven. Seven eleven. Yeah. Let's do four. Four, man, also on this page, man. You guys, huh. okay. Uh, I I wrote this one down as, as current news because I hate Apple products. Oh, well, fuck you then. I'm just right, kidding. I own no. every single Apple product, so I, let's go. That's why this will be good. So it was just announced that Apple's iPhone 10. Mine gets delivered on Friday. Ooh, lucky. Has been assembled with illegal student labor. Sweet. Student labor? Yes. So, What does that mean? Well, six Chinese high school students told the Financial Times uh, that they had been basically working overtime. I, and I use that in quotes, overtime, right, of putting these phones together. So Foxconn, which is the supplier to Apple, is based out in China. And both Foxconn and Apple have, I'll say essentially confirmed the story but not necessarily that it was illegal. Overtime. Did they get paid overtime pay? Well, no, that's the thing. Yeah, that, that, that's... So, so, the, so, so the, the... Are they high school students? The, or are they... Yeah, six, oh. yeah, well, six Chinese high school students told the Financial Times that, that, that they've been illegally being... I don't know the laws of China and child labor. Do you know them? Wait, wait I'm sorry. 16, you said? They're high school students. It just says high school, but it was six of them. If it's under 18 in America, what, they can't work past a certain amount of hours? Is that what it is? Yeah. Well, okay, yeah. So I doubt. You really think China has laws like that? Well, hold on. Are we are we first doubting the yes. realization that there's slave labor all over the world? If they're getting paid, it's not slave labor, right? It, we don't know that they weren't getting overtime or we don't have all your No, facts, that's true. Right? Yeah, yeah you're, you're right. And yeah. that, that's why I enjoy having this discussion. But mm-hmm. I would, it, it is hard to put past that the Financial Times, right, which then again, Foxconn and Apple have already acknowledged, right, which, but they're coining the term illegal, working like, we're looking into the cases of them working overtime, but we acknowledge that they're out there when uh, they're going to use those words to tone down the problem, so right? The, the corporation right. is. Mm-hmm. So right. I, I, I'm, I'm not doubting these All I know individuals. Is originally, I was supposed to get my iPhone 10 yeah. December 18th. Yeah. I'm getting it this Friday. So however it happened, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm well, getting it earlier. I'm oh, yeah. just, I'm just wondering if, if these <laughs> students were working on it and they're like, man, I'm tired. I, it's, you know, my shift is over. They, they are like, if they students. stand up, is, does a spotlight go on them? And they're like, sit back down. You're not done with this phone. I don't yet. know. I, you I know guess, what I mean? Like, like or. Sweatshop. Yeah. And just yeah. like. I guess the reason why I wrote this down as, as some funny current news is that Apple likes to, to preach themselves, right? As. as you know, people on the left like progressive values and so forth, and 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 they want to do good, but then they're caught up in in this BS. Well, it's interesting that they're they're un- they are using older kids. They're not super young. This is probably good experience for them working, okay. earning money. So I just I want more facts. I guess I want to know how much were they getting paid. Like I was working at that age. Well, in high school. I would love overtime because I get paid time and a half. So are you bitching because they don't want to work more than 40 hours a week? Or I don't, I don't know. I'm not necessarily bitching about them working. I really don't no, care what they're not doing. Not you, so, oh. just them. I'm just, 
I need to know. Look, they, they probably just... You're missing the point of my story. The point of my story is that Apple's using I'm not mad at Apple. Labor. I'm not mad at Apple. And we should all be sad about that. We shouldn't be sad about that. You're just pissed because it's Apple and you hate Apple. But children, Correct. high school students are working all over the United States currently. Yeah, as he's they, losing this argument. That's why he's... As they should be. Bad, off the list. bad current news. So. <laughs> all right, Crystal, we are oh, back to back you. To all right. Oh, Yes. Oh, I was going to say, oh, or, and it's you guys, do you guys have any anything real quick that we can talk about? I'm a, oh, you mean if, what's happening in yeah. the world? Okay, well, while you still think about it, All right. Crystal. Let's go with number one. Huh. Let's go with number one. Oh, yeah. A new page. Okay. I got three pages just for number one. Oh, God. What did I do? No, it's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, the University of Texas Institute for Geophysics. Okay. Okay. What about it? They have just published a new study that the Pacific Northwest is due, and I use that in quotation marks, but is due to unleash a mega quake and a tsunami. We've been hearing about this mega quake for over 10 years. This is a new study, though. They have found... <laughs> it's like the end of the world. No, 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 no. no, no. I meant time, this time, this time for real. sure. So, <laughs> so, 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 just, so this story was published in, the, in uh, Nature Geoscience, which is a peer-reviewed science journal. Fairly credible. And anywho, the, the biggest thing that they're talking about is that the, the sediment that is on the floor in the Pacific Northwest... So the sediment is all the crap that falls Correct. right to the, to the mm -hmm. bottom is more compact than farther off the coast or or the rest of the this, the seabeds themselves. So getting into the the physics aspect of it, but right if you have a harder object and you try to send a wave through it, it's going to be worse than if you have looser material. Mm -hmm. So they're saying that where the fault line is, along with the tectonic plates. Uh, that are in that area, it is primed ripe for an earthquake to hit. So you're saying the shock will not disperse; it'll it'll stop, which therefore Correct. a huge earthquake will happen. Okay. Correct. Yeah, it won't have time to dissipate. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So what? So what's your thought on it? Like, well, first of all, you're talking about three people who were hiding under desks in elementary school yeah. as drills. Yep. Yep. And then you're from Iowa. You probably didn't have a lot of earthquakes to worry about. So people who have never lived through them usually are more afraid of them than. I mean, I lived through the '89 quake. I don't know. Think you? Guys I was. Were. Yep. I was three years okay, old. I was so under. I was. Yeah. So I was at the game. Get the hell out. Yeah, my parents took me to that World Series game. Actually, anyway, hold on. Yeah. In '80. Or yeah, '89. Yeah, between the Giants and the A's. Do you remember? No, I don't remember anything. I was like, he was there. Buddy was there. No, no, no. His I'm like, I was like, a, I was like a month old. It put him yeah. to sleep. All the the <laughs> right. vibration. So we might have a different perspective than not being afraid of it as people who've never really been through a big earthquake. Or uh, have you? Are you looking at me like I'm crazy? I, I have been through one. I I've been through two big ones. I know no, we she's, have. Yeah, she's we, saying we are right. from earthquake I lived city on the fault in San Diego. Oh, that's true. We did yeah. drills in in right. school, so we're not. We, to be honest, I have been expecting this quake. Yeah. I, ha I really, really right. have. So if this study is true, oh, do they predict when it's going to happen? No. They just say it's going to happen. Of course, yeah. Like, Man, I'm really hoping to get Ro Roseville to become like beachfront property. Um. Well, well, so, oh, go on. <laughs> just saying, my family's part of that. So is mine. <laughs> you have to sacrifice the few for the many. Oh, my God. But yeah, so look, th there is a there is the Juan de Fuca tectonic plate that is potentially going to be pushed underneath the North America plates, and it's going to make us real high. And they're saying that it's oh you know, yeah, it's saying that's going to causing the yeah. uh, eventually the Juan de Fuca will be pushed underneath the North America plate, causing the region to sink at least six feet. Mm. 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 There goes all the liberals. That's though. fucking crazy. That's pretty wild. <laughs> I'm telling you, this property the, the maybe super we, rich ones. Yeah. <laughs> but he, look. So, anyways, I was doing some other some other just tidbit of research on this. They'll blame Trump, by the way. 
for right, the tectonic so, plate movement. So in 2014, right, Napa had a 6.0 earthquake. Mm-hmm. The worst one, right, for SF, San Francisco, was 1906. Yep, that, that destroyed the whole. That destroyed the whole city. No, it wasn't the earthquake that destroyed the city. It was fires that destroyed the city from the earthquake, right? Yeah, but literally the earthquake happened, but everything was built out of wood, so everything just burned down. Okay. So, hey, do you guys know the largest earthquake from a seismology aspect uh, that that has hit the U.S.? No, sir. Mm. Was it in Iowa? No. <laughs> it's in California, right? No. No. Oh, I don't know. In Alaska, 1964, not that long ago. I wasn't born yet. Fair enough, but not that long ago. A 9.2. Damn. Damn, that's pretty wild. Hit. Damn. Uh, Also in 1958, there was an 8.0 earthquake, but uh, that earthquake ended up leading then to some other issues of like tidal waves. And so this all goes together, right? Because the, I mean, the whole thing was that this could unleash a mega quake and a tsunami. So anyways, it, parts of, parts of some mountain range, whatever fell off into the fucking Alaska coastline. And it created a 1,720 foot tidal wave. Mm-hmm. Where'd that hit? Tsunami. I mean, it dissipated before I think it did anything worthwhile. And I mean, there's nothing up in Alaska, but the hey, the, there's penguins the, the, and there's polar bears. To put that in perspective, the one World Trade Center is 1,726 feet, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Wow, what a sight, huh? That's why I would so love to see that. Out, wouldn't it head towards like Russia? I guess, yeah. I guess it, it would have pushed it that way, right? Or well, both ways, but yeah, depending on where it happened. Putin stopped it. Yeah, well, well, well Damn so you, Putin, you're so, too good. Exactly. That was the day Putin yeah. was born. Yeah, what he did is he initially had flexed, so it popped the shirt off, right? I did. I, I yeah. I mean, <laughs> he just we, blew at it and just blew the other way. We'd have to, we'd have to get some, uh, you know, <laughs> a, 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 a geophysicist on here. Chuck somebody, Norris, somebody, Tom Caldwell, somebody that can a geophysicist. Okay. Okay. Chris a geophysicist. Brown. Somebody. So you're right the first. Time. But but well, the when. When you were mentioning going off into Japan and so forth, so a lot of that is happening on the western side of the Ring of Fire, which is in the Pacific Ocean, whereas this is, I don't know, like 150 uh, fuck, miles know. north of it. Yeah, it's just it's the Pacific Northwest. But anyways, it's off the coast of Washington, Oregon. And I said Alaska. I... I, I not this one. Oh, okay. N- not the one that they're talking about is gonna is gonna is oh, gonna copy, destroy right, some shit. Right, right, but right, so. where 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 I was going with that is, is that I don't think it would go off to Japan because I think that's where you're getting into the depth of the ocean will also dictate where things are going and the movements of the actual plates. Uh, but anywho, look, I was just I, I wanted to bring that up that just like any other study, who really gives two shits? But they're planning for it. Even the if the federal, state, and military officials are are are. Drafting plans to be followed when the big one happens. What's the nearest fault to us? To us? Yeah, I'm just curious. Like major fault? Yeah. I'm just, I just want to know how worried I should be. Well, oh, you're good. We're too the, far inland. Yeah. The, the, well, there's the, yeah. So the San Andreas right is more like San Francisco going down towards like San Diego, but then you have these smaller fault lines that are where like the Napa one was kind of coming off of. Mm-hmm. So All right, you cool. get into some. It my my family's, they don't live in the Bay Area anymore, so... I'm but are they talking... Uh, uh, or fuck, fuck it. Fuck the study. <laughs> not fuck that. They can't even assess what, what the Richter scale would be on it. They're just... No, yeah. It's going to be big. Well, and, and, yeah, it's going to be think, huge. In my, I feel like, why right. couldn't they? Like, well, with math. Marin County just instantly disappears because it's completely in the ocean. Like, there's no more Marin County. Yeah. Nancy Pelosi no longer has a voting base. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really care because it's... Yeah, portions of California or Washington or Oregon, so so be it. But as each natural disaster thing happens, we get better with how we build things, and I don't think things would ever be as destructive as they are. But if it comes down to it, I want the day after tomorrow, I want some crazy fucking flooding happening and some weird shit. Oh. Not necessarily freezing. Let us not for, let's not let us not forget how badly you wanted that fucking dam to break or whatever. I did want the Oroville dam to break. Oh, he wanted it so I bad. I wanted that thing just to completely God, I would have loved it. 
Give me a give me another number. It's my turn. Yeah, you get you get you each get one more. What numbers are off the table? One, four, seven, eleven. Let me do three. <laughs> All right. No, no, no. I don't want three. <laughs> I don't you didn't want like three. your reaction. Good. I'm gonna go with two. <laughs> He's like, fuck. Okay. Well, all right. Give me the one that best suits me. Well, no. Well, you're supposed to be choosing a random yeah, number and going with two. It. Follow the dose. Rules. All right. Just just so everybody knows, number three was at the uh, Black Plague and the pneumonic plague in Madagascar has killed 195 people and it's potentially going to break out even more and polio might be coming back into play. Yeah. But number two. I got shots already for that. So. Several years ago, a contract was brokered between the CIA and the 16 other major intelligence agencies for $600 million for Amazon to uh, host a cloud commuting region for uh, those agencies to analyze and run different apps and obviously run all their secret. Secret cloud? Yeah. Oh, no. But but it's going to be, as they call, air-gapped, which means it will not be connected to the internet it would be intranet based to them does that make sense so internet is that you're connected to everybody the intranet is within like i could have an your your what your home network is is an intranet if that makes sense i get it this goes on right everybody was freaking out about the nsa building their huge uh, the building in in what was it utah or wherever it was mm-hmm you guys know what I'm talking about? Am I talking just crazy nits? I'm just Ill, not informed of this place. I would have thought Colorado, maybe, but I don't know about Utah. Uh, it was out. It was out in like Arizona or Utah, in a huge NSA hub, right, where they're just data mining and data collecting everything. And so this kind of went along with it. But Amazon, you know, got we got broke for a deal, six hundred million dollars. That doesn't seem like it, a, <clears throat> a lot. Yeah, I mean that's for that's, six. How many agencies? Six, Seven? Six, 17. 17. 17 total. 16. 17 total? Yeah. yeah. 600 million. I feel like Amazon can get more from this. Yeah. I'm, that's a big deal. I feel like that's not the focus of this, though, how much it costs. It's well, our uh, privacy. Is that what we're focusing on? Yeah. Well, 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 well y- yeah. You're asking but us, it's basically? just a cloud. Isn't that just a storage? Well, people, people care about data mining because <clears throat> all data is considered useful in some way, right? Because it shows like the patterns. They're able to use that data to sort of construct some, like certain things about you, and uh, it may not have anything to do with something national security based. They just want to. Why underst- wouldn't it though? If though these are the agencies using it, why wouldn't it be used in that manner? Yeah, I mean, I I think there's a right to privacy violation here to begin with. You know, like, sure, I you know sure, I, yeah. I I don't I don't know if we so if, like if we've tell- au- I don't know if we've authorized Amazon to sell any of our information like that. They're not sell- selling they're, they're, our information. They're, they're just creating another they're, separate they're cloud it, yeah. in the intranet so they can use for their data. But I guess the, my concern would be is people tapping into that. I don't know how easy it is for that to happen, but maybe they can, people yeah, can we, tap into that. Are we saying the And then that being $600 million, I'd be like, well, I'm not going to put that much effort in this because it's not that much money. So. Wait, $600 billion? Million. 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 And Michael, yeah, and million. I mean, does, do the, the agencies have access to either cloud? I guess one cloud's made for them, right? Yes. What about the other cloud? I don't think so. I think the whole purpose is that this would be a standalone cloud just for them. So we have the government outsourcing to private industry. I'm good with that. Okay. Hey, look. Is it used for like demographics? I'm, like, is it used for the way they're making it sound here? Is that none of our information is being shared? Amazon simply it, creating a cloud storage for the government. It, yeah. So what are they storing? It, so all this said it was it was just to host, analyze, and run their applications. Hmm. So okay. Le- right it's yeah. probably done more efficiently by them than it would be yeah, by the very government well maybe yeah i didn't think there was anything fishy there i just thought large contract people will though it, yeah. conspiracy theorists oh, of will course connect yeah the dots there. we'll see we'll see what how many um topics are there you have five six eight nine or ten and f- the surprising thing is, is that these last five were i thought the, the funnier of the five but fuck it the one the ones that are left yeah but I mean, I mean, I'm leaning towards eight. Is eight good? Ocho, ESPN to Ocho. All right, so number eight. Okay. I mean, it's kind of good. Mm. Felt good about that one. 
She's like, I just like it. It's a zero it and a calling. zero. It was calling. We yeah. talked about titties earlier. I thought, I thought, I saw, I thought eight. I thought boob. I, you know. No, that's good. Ah, that's you clever. know what? It must have been subconscious. Eight deals with boobs. Oh. So, <laughs> along with all the, <laughs> along, along with all the other kind of deals with boobs. Let's hear it. So, amongst all the other individuals that are getting called out for for their sexual allegations, so. Uh, if we had, if you guys have been keeping up, Al Franken mm-hmm. was right accused by uh, Leanne Tweeden. Accused isn't the right word. It, v- there's picture proof. Picture is right. Mm-hmm. It was. It happened. Uh, right of kissing and and, and and groping by him during a uh, USO tour back in '06. Well, anyways, uh, a second woman has come out that in 2010 at a Minnesota State Fair uh, that he was touching. So he was taking a picture with this just random woman who was 26 years old at the time of the allegation uh, because her father owned a small business uh, that was sponsoring a radio booth. So they were meeting different celebrities at the state fair and so forth. Al Franken was there. This was while he was an actual senator. Came to do a, to do a picture, basically pulled her in close. And, you know, she says, like, squeezed, you know, her butt like very, you know, hard, uh, right? Like as as her own husband then was taking the picture. So, anywho, why why did I write this down? Right. So we obviously have a whole host of individuals. I've got a, I've got a whole list, but I don't think I need to name them off. Right. Of all these people right. that have that have been accused, but <clears throat> the 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 thing that I guess I want to get into is you know I'm not. I have two sisters, so I. Well, I don't think anything's ever happened to him. At least I've never heard anything from him. You know, like I, I, I'm not. I guess I'm not blind to, you know, me being sympathetic to this issue. But I feel like a lot of this is just. Oh, let me phrase this correctly. Good, good luck. <laughs> think w- women, women coming a majority of them. Yes. Women coming out after the fact when it meant nothing at the time. Like, I, I, okay, here, here's what I don't understand. Well, the reason it meant nothing at the time mm-hmm. is because these guys have been getting away with this for so long by women who weren't saying anything, or it was part such part of the culture that they didn't realize how. Maybe they didn't realize how it was wrong then, so, and so, now they're looking at it like, I can stop this sexual predator now by saying what he did back then because this guy was never stopped along the way. All right. Even some jackass like Joe Behar has an image of of laughing with him grabbing her fucking boobs. Uh, and now she's trying to talk out against that okay. stuff. Okay. I, like, I, I would... I would. Joy Behar is like Satan. Okay. It's fine. So please answer me this. This is Crystal or Simone. Maybe I am so naive... I don't know if that's the right word to use here, but that I I would never take it upon myself if I was going up to take a let's just use a picture as as the simplest way to put it, right? As what they said, and I'm just going to come up behind, grab the picture, and then squeeze the ass. Like my immediate thought before I even do that is uh, she's probably immediately going to pull away, punch me, or do something. So uh, you're shaking your head. No, that's not going to happen. So like I mean, can, look. If that's not going to happen, then I need to change my way of thinking it because I could have been doing. I could, so here's the thing: like uh-huh. it may not have been something like intimidation wise, or I don't, I don't know, like back then. But now, like if I can say something that can save people from him now, because I know it's inappropriate now, I know that I this person cannot influence me anymore to make me feel intimidated about this. And I'm not just talking about Al Franken; it's happening all over, like the Harvey Weinstein, all of this. I can speak out now. I can stop this from happening to anybody else because back then this culture was rampant and it was, it felt like intimidation, but it was also like, (laughs) it's the norm, but now it's not the norm anymore. And if I can come out and say that this guy did this to me back then, and it's not just this one person, it's a bunch of people, then I can change the culture and then I can, we can move forward from that and I can save any females you know, actors, whatever, from now on, from ever having to put up with this shit. And I, f- I feel like that makes sense. I mean, it makes sense to me. I okay. mean, I, I'm, I'm assuming her reaction might have been shock 
when it, it happened. But even in the picture, right? Like when it's supposedly actually happening, her smile is just as as. Well, she's well, that's probably a think- picture of a moment. Maybe that was. Yeah, but then you come out later, like, I, I mean, she made it. Her her reaction was that right when it was happening, she was shocked and couldn't understand. I don't know how you go from shocked, but you're smiling in the picture. Then, like, at well, the same you're time. F- afraid. What she was there. Um, she was 20- promoting something. She Disney, wasn't necessarily Disney, promoting. Disney. It was her. It was her father's yeah. small business so she that probably, was supporting. She probably put on a face because she didn't want to make a scene. And I just don't get it. I I I, I because don't. They were scared. Like, well, okay, <sighs> let me ask you this, B- Rich. Before you, so Simone, when just to be clear, I do not. None of this is geared towards anybody that is a child. Right. Uh, okay, Adults. I just want that. Uh-huh. Yeah, this eighteen and up. <laughs> so, did you ever have a celebrity that you? were infatuated with that you a male i guess it could be a female whatever whoever you want right yeah. that you just oh man he's just so dreamy you never sure oh, i was gonna say i thought you said no i was like okay yeah i mean who, 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 do you mind who, or just give me somebody it just depends okay like are you talking so, like, when we were teenagers or as we were adults like growing up are we, what are we talking i mean about? Like, i can use it as teenagers because you're like, gonna understand my my I grew my up with backstreet boys so joe mcintyre aj from okay back, okay back Fine. perfect jo- got it cute keanu Oh, whatever, Joe, who Joey McIntyre? Joe McIntyre. Joe McIntyre. Joey McIntyre. Which I saw live, by the way. Joey McIntyre. All right. He's good. So, 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 so look. I, okay, I'm right, sorry. So, I'm sorry. I, whatever you want to be a teenager in this scenario, that's fine because it's going to be just as applicable. Do you want to go with like but, Jason Momoa? Today? I don't know who the fuck that is. I'm with that too. That's Aquaman. Mm. Okay, so <laughs> listeners, <laughs> you have your. And it's female listeners, you have your celebrity that you are just infatuated with, and you're watching them on whatever the new sh- show was. Back when I was growing up, it was MTV, like Total Request Live, and some weird shit with Carson Daly and so forth. <laughs> but anywho, here comes your favorite celebrity, right? And some little female in the audience gets to right go up there, and you know, the, the Ben Affleck or whatever kind of grabs them and. Pulls him close, gives him a little kiss on the cheek. I don't. I'm just saying, a harm, a harmless right. stuff, right? And you, and here you are at home, like, oh, I just wish that could have been me that he would have pulled me into his arms. But now here we are, right? And and this, look, I get that he, I Nobody get that he was attracted to Al Frank. I understand that, but the 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 point that I'm making is okay. So a you're kind of going into one of the other aspects of it, which is a pick and choose thing. Then no, but you're you're talking about grabbing ass. Al Franken grabbed her ass. There's it, a difference between that and a heck on the cheek. And technically, you are allowed to but, pick and choose or, by but that's all, grabbing but, her breasts. But, but that could be sexual harassment, uh, even just kissing. I'm okay. Fine. We're in England, and I grab your hand, and I hello, ma'am. That's the culture. And it's France. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, but we're not in whatever. I'm saying it's done. He, man, am I not making my point clear enough? Rich, help me out here, man. So I think I think the biggest flaw that we have in, in what's going on right now is I think sexual harassment and assault get mixed up like a lot, right? Mm-hmm. And so like everybody's either claiming one or the other. And I've heard people say like, oh, I was sexually harassed. And then when you hear about it, you're like, nope, this is assault. That's assault. And then you've also heard the opposite, which is, You've had women say, like, for instance, they were, you know what I mean, like, like something happened or, or etc. Right? Like, dude said this to me, and you know, he made me feel this way. He triggered me, so I was assaulted. No, that's not assault. That's harassment. Um, so there's a big difference. Uh, I think in what you were saying earlier, I think there's a drastic um, a line between like a celebrity and like a politician, though, right? Politicians are elected, or people that are part of the bureaucracy are appointed, and they're confirmed by somebody, right? And so the problem is, is these people are held to a higher standard than our celebrities. And I, and I do think that when a politician sexually harasses or assaults somebody, it's a bigger deal than if, you know, Channing Tatum grabs a woman by the ass, right? Neither is good, right. but one is elected and one's appointed. And the other one, it's like, hey, we throw money on this dude, at this dude for entertainment. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think there's a difference there. I also think, uh, I do think, I, I do think it is a pick and choose though, right? Because... If a girl's going to kiss a guy at a bar, whether it's consensual or not, is based on what she wants. Same thing with the dude. And I'm not trying to virtue signal here. I'm not a virtue signaler by any means. But I think for society, I think it's better parenting that we need to be needs to be done as well as, I think, overall just culture period 
has like led us to believe like as men we're pressured early on to have women we're pressured early on to to appeal in a certain way and, and to be dominant in other in other factors and i think for women and i think it's changing for both but i i think er, like earlier for us in the early 2000s or in the 90s it was very much that like hey like you have you you want to try to be equal but you also need to fit in and so for a lot of these women i don't think they feel comfortable like you and i we can say like point blank if someone does something to us like if we're chilling and some fucking fat chicks come comes up to you and she grabs you by the dick mm-hmm. and you don't like it you'd mm-hmm. be like what the fuck are you doing right right you're going to say it point blank i'm going to say it point blank because as males we have no boundaries on what we can do or say you know what i mean like we can tell somebody point blank like we don't fucking like that and everybody's like yeah he didn't fucking like that but for a female it could be where somebody comes up and grabs them by the ass in the photo and they have to think do i make a scene here because half the people in the group may not agree or may think that I'm being a bitch, right? Like, it's not as accepted. It's but do you- Real quick, I'm just curious. So, yeah. uh, the woman whose ass was squeezed, what does she want to happen to Al Franken? She's just bringing it up to add. The, the, the only comment that I read in the article was that she said... You know, she never brought anything up, and, and, and to be fair, like the, the the whoever went in, the cops or the forensics, right? They, this went back onto like they went researched her Facebook. She talked about it that day that it happened, like between her and her sister and friends mm-hmm. that it happened. So it wasn't like she just made it up, uh, and she does obviously have the picture of her. And but but anywho, what, what her her point was, I wasn't going to say anything, and it took me a lot of you know a long time to to cope with this. That part's sketchy to me because okay, it's just an, just ass, an grab, ass grab, but whatever. Um, but anywho, that if she could come out and, and speak about it with her just being a quote unquote common individual, then if there's anybody else, not just against Al Franken or anybody else, anybody else that has been named, that other people will come out and say it. But I, I just her her piece though, like her husband was the one taking the picture, like if. You're saying, like, why didn't she say something to her husband on the spot? Yeah, what do you or think? Or to Al Franken himself. Be like, excuse me, sir. I mean, but, so, you're, so, that- uh, so, but here's the thing. There's a lot of pressure, right? She's at an event for her dad's business. Al Franken was probably invited. And it's sort of a big deal. Like, well, when that's, t- Yeah, that's why I, s- well, I said it's probably a fake smile, so... Yeah, with, with state one, like even now, like state legislatures, when they show up, people make a big deal about it. And they're only at state level. Right. So when, like, a federal senator... What? Oh, no, 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 sorry. I'm just... I understand what she's she's doing now, just to stop him from here on out. Like, yeah, that's kind of a, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so you're right, Rich. And they just need to tell know, them like, now. They just need to out. tell them exactly. Speak out. Yep. When so it happens, I think I do. I do think there's. I think out. I think there's something heightened about it though too now, right? Because you do have a lot of women like claiming one thing or the other, or like maybe an act is done in the evening with, with two two individuals, and and now it's like right away they start wondering was this consensual or not, you know, and. uh and I, I do think in some in some instances, I think it's it's good that the question's being asked because I'm sure there's too many of times that women have gone home like extra drunk where there's no way they could have consented. But in the same sense, like I think this is still like I I know it's a problem, but it's not like the way it's being blasted in the media as far as like I don't think every woman is being assaulted. You know what I mean? Like I don't think it's like at any point you can be assaulted tonight. Like I'm sure there's a chance of it. Like don't get me wrong. That's why you know that's why I carry a gun and why I tell Simone to like have firearms available at the house if she chooses to have one in the car that's on her to have one in the car but i don't think it's the to the rampant part where it's just like walking down marysville like going down to the bar i'm gonna get fucking raped like i don't think it's but they're also talking about harassment too not just assault right but that so with harassment though like that could be verbal or and it's it's such a it's such a um it's such a delicate thing because like if you're at a bar can you claim someone was harassing you you know like I think in the workplace, yes. like you can claim harassment. Yes, you can. Yeah, but anything can be taken as harassment if the guy Just looks at you're a female in a bar wearing a mini skirt does not invite anybody over to you to touch you unless they ask and get your permission. So you're saying at no so point if females can't be in bars, Rich. I didn't say it, that. Now I mean, you're putting words in my I'm mouth. I'm not putting words in your mouth. You are. I'm just saying that's how it came off. I'm not uh, wrong. I I don't know. Is that how it yeah. came off? Well. 
<laughs> it didn't come off that way, but but I but I do believe sexual harassment can happen in a bar. That's, that's what I mean. And yeah. that's kind of what you it sexual harassment can't happen in a bar. It absolutely can. No, no, no well, so what, here's what I'm getting at though, right? Say you were at the bar, you were drinking and you made a mistake and the next day you were like, "You know oh, what? No, I'm a, I, but it's easy for someone to be like, "Yeah, you know what? Dude was sexually harassing me or dude sexually assaulted me and I'm sorry, hon. I did not mean for this to happen. This fucking happened." Like that situation I know fucking happens. Yeah, but it really isn't on a scale to which you th- you think it is. That, that happens so often, but it does a- a- obviously happen. I, I, Where you think it's a mistake and you cry rape or... I don't know how often or not, not. It, it it does happen, but I, I, I've been on the side where Rich is preaching from that th- there... Look, if it is a, if it is a man... And, and again, it could go either way. Well, 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 again, I just want to say, yes, and sexual harassment, bad, right? Rape, bad. Anything against the minor, bad. Okay, Correct. I want that to be clear. I'm not. I'm I not do condoning not doubt it. that both of you feel that way. But at all. So if the if the man is a suave individual, smooth, <laughs> suave. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah. TJ. Has money, hair's dripping wet. Is, he, his name, <laughs> is his name Rico? <laughs> Rico Suave. Well, whatever, right? You guys know what I'm saying, yes, right? Is yeah. that the likelihood that any woman is going to cry foul is slim to none? You, he just fucking said a fat bitch walks into a bar and grabs your dick. If it was a hot chick, it's the same fucking thing on your side, right? Well, but that's except right, that's, if it's a hot chick, they're consenting to it. That's what I'm saying, and it goes, saying, both so ways. it goes both ways. Yeah, so that, I get that's what you're what, about to mm-hmm. say, but it's sort of the same thing on both sides right like if 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 yes i agree but the the the, okay here's here's oh man now we're getting to like the the, the, all right here's my take though when a woman comes up to me and is at that level i'm immediately thinking just straight up slut and i don't know what disease is going to have because that normally does not happen right i mean we still live in we still live in the world to where the men make the move right for the most Uh, part well I mean, how much alcohol is involved? Right? I mean, a lot of women might get a little more brave, I guess. Uh, yeah, but yeah. I think yeah, but if you're not in a if you're not in a club setting or a dance club setting, right, to where you're feeling a little bit more loose, doing your little, whatever, you're saying like right? a conversational bar, a dive bar, right? Yeah, I don't think it's it, 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 very few times in my life I could probably count them on one hand where right a woman has made like the movie like to put her hand on my thigh or whatever and. Probably four out of five of those times, I was like, "You can move your fucking hand because ain't no way." Because you weren't attracted, which is the same thing, right? We're talking about yeah, but I don't. But it ain't harassment, though. No. I mean, that, that's what I'm saying. Like to me, the, to me, in that case, no one would ever go home with anybody it, randomly, okay, which may okay, not be a bad thing. May, may not be a bad thing. I, here, here. Okay, so a Minnesota, Minnesota statue. All right, and and here's where statute. I, like a law or statue? Stat- Wait, yeah, yeah statue, statue or statute? Mm-hmm. Well, statute. I'm sorry if I said the wrong thing. Damn it, Cal! You you messed up his T. Hey, you can edit that out. Yeah, oh no, I'll leave, I'll leave it in. Okay. All right. So, where where I think there should be a a clear line drawn, and I found this then to be uh, a good point in regards to the second woman who accused Al Franken of this. So. The intentional touching of the clothing covering the immediate area of the buttocks is not considered criminal sexual misconduct. So, again, I guarantee you that you can find a woman, right, that will say that a man touched her on her thigh and it was sexual harassment. But to me, that is just a bunch of bullshit, and that's it's repeated. I mean, it better right. be repeated, right? Because if the guy comes up and say, oh, how are you doing, you know, and puts yeah. the hand on the thigh... I get we can go into the inner thigh, outer thigh, whatever. You get, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, if, if she not, says if, no, yeah. Well, that that's right. what I was saying. I think it's situational, though, right? So, like at a, at a workplace, none of that shit's like ever allowed, right? So, like there's certain places where it's like not allowed. You know, Disneyland. You probably don't want to touch a random person at Disneyland. But I think maybe I'm wrong here, but I believe that when you put yourself in a social setting such as a bar. I think you're you're opening yourself up at least to communicate with somebody, mm-hmm. and if you're not there with like either a huge group of your friends, male or female, or your significant other, like you are now open to somebody not only talking to you, but if you allow them to sit near you or you allow them to get near you in your personal space, like I don't think it's wrong for a male or female to make a move 
I think it's on you then to say no, this is not okay, or no, I'm not looking for this. All right, I, I don't want to. I do not want to go too far down the rabbit hole on yeah the the, the sexual what is appropriate, what is not right. Yeah, because yeah. to me that's a whole other uh, whole other episode, yeah, and we need to go hour. more into specifics on it. All I wanted to go into that right. So it's current events. This is what's happening. But is it a shock to anybody? I get people; they're people, but. Is it a shock to anybody that there are all these individuals in prominent positions that know if any of this stuff comes out, you're essentially screwed, so why would you even attempt to do it? Is anybody ever shocked by that? No. Holy crap. <laughs> Dude, these, these people that are put in powerful positions feel like like they can't be touched. You know what I mean? Like they can't, they can't be knocked down. Yes. And pow- power is corruptive. I think these people who are getting caught now have just been getting away with it for so long, and now it's their time's up. God. Yeah, I mean, I, you, you're right. I just, I but can't believe right. Charlie Rose. From, Charlie now, Rose. from now on, people will be more reluctant to act like this. And that's no, I got good it. about I, it, right? I'm, just, is that I'm now, just shocked. Dudes I'm, can't do anything. That's, and, that's, and, 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 and here's what else <laughs> that I want, I want out there that I want to know is that Jackie Spire, who's a congresswoman, mm-hmm. I forgot from where. Do you know from where? <laughs> It's, a, it's, a, it's like a mid. It's a Midwest sure. state. She disclosed. All right. So she she went on the record that the House of Representatives has paid more than seventeen million dollars to settle two hundred and sixty claims of harassment over the last twenty years. Just in Congress. Now look, where, who the fuck is paying for that? Hang That's on, my it, money. It is real quick. She did make a correction. It wasn't just harassment. So the actual pool of seventeen million. Well, well co- covers her, 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 her. It covers harassment. It covers um, like racial profiling. Oh, true, true. And it covers and it covers gender. Like, I didn't say and, sexual harassment. Okay, okay, yeah. So any form of harassment, harassment yeah. right? But either, how is this stuff not public record? Right? You know, like how do we not know about this stuff ever? Though I think the budgeting is public. Like you could have looked up to see how much they were spending, but it as far as with the information in there is not public record. Oh, well, it's crazy. Anywho, all right. This has been some 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 fun current event stuff uh, for everybody out there. The the four that were missed uh, was that the NFL has scheduled the Redskins to play on Thanksgiving. <laughs> mm. Oh, I love it! Nice. Man, that's that's wrong. Uh, the 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 <laughs> the, 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 the twenty. It's not like a group of Native inten- Americans playing on Thanksgiving. <laughs> no, I mean. You never know what the old All Roger right, Goodell. Thir- All right, go ahead. Thirty second blurbs on it. Go <laughs> ahead, man. Old Roger Goodell, man. <sighs> Fuck him. But. I, I mean, I just think it's. I think it's funny. I'm not offended by it by any means. You Neither know? am I. Stop being a fucking sap and get over names, right? Others. You, I, I, you, know, I know Native Americans who aren't offended by it at all. Well, like, right. Well, they, even if you are, you can get offended yeah. over everything. I do think anything. they didn't do yeah. it right? to be malicious anyway. I mean, so. they could have. I will say this though: they could have a thousand different names for that football team. It doesn't need to be Redskins. Like yeah, I don't I think Washington and the Redskins. Yeah. I mean, yeah. What look? What if I'm not a? I'm not a cowboy. Change the fucking name. I'm not a goddamn cowboy. No, that no, 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 me. no, no, no. That, that, but Texas is associated with cowboys. Like cowboys, like the term cowboy is is from the state of Texas. So, like when you're so talking, Washington, like, I'm offended the, by it. I don't when, care. So when you're talking, I'm offended by it. Redskin is a derogatory term. Correct. That's yeah. not. That is a fact. So when you're talking about the Florida State Seminoles, that is a badass group of Native Americans, mm-hmm. right? Or the Aztecs, right? They're 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 to take they're they're using oh, so. the mascot. As something that is a, in a positive light. Yeah. So maybe yeah. the people that do get offended, red skin is a derogatory term for noting the color of their skin. So. Yeah. So instead of calling them like the Dallas Cowboys, it would be like calling them the Dallas Rednecks. You know what I'm saying? Right, you know, right, like, right. like the it, Dallas it, 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 skin. And so I can agree with them on that. Like it is truly a derogatory term. I'm okay with uh, Redskins. Fuck it. Wait, I'm not not okay. I'm just saying that I can see where they're, you know, yeah. where that would be if they could change it to any other mascot yeah. or whatever. We don't get to talk but, about yeah. it that much. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Twenty eighteen. February, you guys know that's my favorite uh, time of the year. Every four years, it's the Winter Olympics coming up. It's the most wonderful. TJ, what's your favorite sport? Summer. Curling. Oh, it's so I good. Curling. I love curling. Have I, you watched I, it? Honestly, I got a bunch. Curling. The the, the you love the, skating. The the, the, the the speed skating. Awesome. Ice bobsledding. Dancing. Snowboarding. I love that African bobsled. Look, be, the Jamaican bobsled team. I, that's my. I favorite. like almost <laughs> every sport it, in the Winter Olympics. <laughs> Man, I, I literally do. I can't wait to see the Iron Lotus do you do done any on the skates. <laughs> <laughs> Do you participate in any winter sports? 
<laughs> that movie is so good too. The mm. Iron Lotus. Sledding? No. no I don't. <laughs> you don't even sled? All right. But the, the key part about this that I thought why well, I wanted to bring up was it's going to be hosted approximately 60 miles away from the North Korean border. Beware, I think some fireworks may happen. That's right, it's happening in Pyongyang, South Korea. We need it back in fucking... Which is, again, why he doesn't give a shit about red skins. We need it for that reason right there. We need it back in the U.S. so we can bring some more revenue in here. I think it's back in the U.S. It's going to be in L.A. eventually. 2028? 2028, so they have 10 years. Great. Math. Math. good. Should be no surprise to anybody, but... Uh, still protests going on. They're still kneeling. And Marshawn Lynch stood for the Mexican anthem, f- sat for the for the American anthem, anthem while they was down in Mexico. Fuck him. And the other one that I had was uh, the, this character of the Ball family, LeVar Ball, and you you love know, him. His, his fucking child being stuck in, in China. But, but he then Trump got him back out. on Air Force One. So Ooh, right. Well, I would, yeah. Would look, I just, he, I would... Stay over there. Get yeah. the fuck. I don't even know what the big thing is about their family. I mean, his kid in the L in the Lakers sucks right now. Like they ain't doing nothing. I'd- his kid at UCLA sucks. Ain't doing nothing. His other kid has got these fucked up shaved eyebrows. Stupid. Uh, is anybody Ice balling his triple those. B crap? What? Vanilla Ice had those. They're pretty dope. Back yeah, there. they were. He said if there was a problem, he'll solve it. He said that. <clears throat> You know, I, I do have to give a shout out. The first okay. time I've seen it on on the fake news CNN, Chris Cuomo, I think is that I think that's how he says his name. Cuomo, yeah, Cuomo. yeah. He called out the Ball family this week actually for it, where he basically said, "You should be thankful that President Trump saved your child." Like first time I've ever said heard anything. But that's the problem with the ignorant. Yeah. Right. But well, no, I'm saying like I've never heard a host on CNN say something positive, right, right. and I yeah. was like. Oh damn! Well, like I mean, they had an interview on CNN, and the dude put his fucking foot in his mouth. My mind's in the like, gutter because I thought you were just uh, going to stop with ho, ho, fo, but show. you kept, but you added the st. Host. host. Oh, host. host. Yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah. Host. We had been talking about some current events. What's been popping? Some things were relevant. Some things probably only relevant to me. We got some up, we got some interviews coming up next. We got Crystal coming in for her one on one. That's gotta happen. Yeah. You, <laughs> I've never gotten a one on one. Simone's also getting a one on one. You're also getting a one on one. With a rapid fire. Wow. Everybody loves that rapid fire. Dude, it's fire the round. best it's the best part of the one on one. What's oh what's Ra- that? rapid fire questions. First, you gotta yeah. answer them quick. Yeah. First like, thing what, comes personal to Personal questions? Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Favorite stuff, like who do you hate, et cetera, et cetera. And like then, like you say gas and you're like fart. <laughs> you say I hate your mom for not having an abortion. And then, <laughs> and then I will be hosting an interview with John from Iowa. Oh, We're gonna nice. find out the true stories behind whether or not he was actually subpoenaed to Congress, <laughs> and about those crazy sex tapes that that may be out there of him. There are none. Well, we'll have to wait for John to come <laughs> in <laughs> on, and we'll you know we'll find out more. All right. So, yes, interviews. Interviews. We've got serial killers coming out soon. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, Charles Manson just died, he so did. not not a he better t- not a better time to release. Crazy. What? Uh, Rest in hey, misery. Ooh, ooh, serious question. How long until enough. liberals put Charles Manson on cool shirts that they wear around at, like, like Hot Topic and PacSun, like, like they yeah, like they do with right, Che, right. Karl Marx, and Lenin? Wait, right, you're saying right. they've done that? No, I'm no, saying it's only a matter of time. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. that wouldn't that surprise me. It would not either. <laughs> Dude has a swash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. That's where I don't know if it if know if it'll ever pass. Happen. They're gonna co- put bangs there. Yeah. I bet you they would. <laughs> they fucking probably would. But yes, it's been entertaining. So just today, you know, it's a crazy world. Yeah. I mean, obviously, n- nothing else is popping in your guys' worlds. I mean, I kind of gave that opportunity. Oh, happy Thanksgiving, yeah, everyone! Happy happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. We're gonna get fat this weekend. Of course, this will be like weeks after. That's true. No. We already put our tree up. No. What? Yeah, we Sorry really. Thanksgiving. We really like Christmas. I went, to, went to the pizza parlor and there was Christmas music on. I'm like, man, it ain't even Thanksgiving. I was pit- and they had the Hallmark Channel on playing well, those cheesy. When you end up movies. listening to this, it's probably the day right after Thanksgiving. Okay. So happy Thanksgiving. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Happy. Do- hey, favorite. Hey, you. What are you? What are you doing for your Thanksgiving, young TJ? 
I was asked that today. Mm-hmm. I'll probably just go down to the casino. That's a good choice. You think they'll serve you turkey? <laughs> yeah, the pave will definitely have a, yeah. a, a meal. You think you'll be talking turkey do. while you're gambling? No, I will not be talking trick to him. Mm. <laughs> I see what you did there. That's good. You're That's welcome. Good. Crystal, what about you? I will be joining some people from work. The Hans or? No, the Hans will be leaving the area. Mm. They're always leaving the area. Yeah. Man, we're supposed to get old Britain Han on here. I get to here. hang out with Groot and that, Murphy. Oh, those are good. Like so. They're really good. Yeah. But yeah, man, Han's trying to get Who? Home. Those are the dogs. The Han's dogs. Oh. Simone, what are you, you don't know Groot. Simone, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Hanging out with the fam. Oh, man, what's the food What about be you? Like? What you doing? Hanging out with my bitch. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm hanging with no, my thanks. in-laws. Also, uh, I don't know family. anymore. <laughs> hey, I'm just kidding. Uh, can I come? No. All right. You would hate in, it, TJ. I probably would. I probably would. What about you, Cal? What are you doing? You going to take a shit outside for I'm gonna, Thanksgiving? I'm going to make him a nice meal. Aww. I always do. That's a good dad. What about Desi? Yeah. She'll get the scraps, too. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever Cal doesn't finish. Uh, I feel like that would never happen. <laughs> Simone and I are uh, deep frying a turkey. We normally do when we hang out with her family for Thanksgiving. Delicious. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome. And let me give you guys all a warning or tip here. Ensure that your turkey is thawed out p- correctly, that there's no ice in the turkey. For, for next year, because, again, this will be released the day after Thanksgiving, probably. Oh, yeah. Well, if you guys didn't take my advice this year, you you may not hear... You may not be able to hear this then because you'll probably be dead. But if there is <laughs> ice in the turkey and you then dip said turkey into the boiling oil, it's going to light on fire like a legit fireball. And you're probably going to die. But if that's the case, stop, drop, and roll. I would rather die than third degree burns. So, you know, make sure you're dead. dead you know, I told a story once about, like a, 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 about a kid I went to go see that's with true. third degree burns all over his body. It was on a previous podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. I don't know. I don't listen to your show. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I'm kidding. And on that note, this has been your views and my facts. You could find us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter at Views and Facts. Tell your friends, tell your family if you've liked an episode, share it, get us out there, follow us on Facebook. We're looking to also make an Instagram, and we may be coming out with video or audio clips to sort of give you guys highlights soon. Yeah. And if t- there's topics they want us to talk about. Yeah, as always, if there's something you want us to talk about. Yes, I know aliens. Conspiracy is out there. You don't know. No, thanks, Dad. And then something that I want, I want corrections corner. So if there's anything I might have said incorrectly, let me know. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. It's not too I, it's, corrections it's, corner. That's good. Yeah. Fact Ooh. check me. No, Sh- that's yeah. Shout out to our boy Jay Brad, aka Bradley. Yeah. He'll be joining the team as an administrator. Boom. Yep. Good. Good guy. Yeah. If you see him at work, pat him on the butt. It's not harassment. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Bad advice. All right. <laughs> All right. We hope you've enjoyed uh, this round of some current news going on. And if there's anything that uh, you think, yeah, that we got wrong, let us know. Or anything, other stories. Start talking about it on Facebook. Let's, let's get some things uh, popping here so we have other Say information. Say popping again. Popping. Pop. Popping. Pop. 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 All right, fact checkers. The den is shutting down. Take care. <laughs>